the Indian space ecosystem is revving up with many private companies doing well in space. I am standing at a facility of Agni Cool Cosmos Private Limited, one of India's early startups and which is getting ready for a rocket launch from Sriharikota. I have with me Kiritharan, who is an engineer and carries a big designation, Chief of Staff for Agni Cool. Giritaran, what is this engine behind us and what do you do here? Okay. Uh, hello, sir. So, um, so first of all, thanks for this. Uh, thanks for coming to our facility. Uh, so, the engine that you are looking here is our uh, single piece 3D printed engine. So, we are going to fly our rocket uh, through this engine, right? Uh, so, this is powered by semi cryo liquids. And the rocket launch that's going to happen, it's going to be India's first rocket that is going to fly with a semi cryo engine. The speciality of this engine is like you know any rocket engine will have multiple parts that have to be assembled together through an assembly technique let's say welding but in our case it's like all the parts are printed as a single piece in a 3d printer so we make these engines in our facility called rocket factory which is an iitm research park like you know we print this entire engine in a in a 3d printer as a single piece we'll take it out do some post processing we'll put it on the rocket we'll fly so this is one piece yes which is three 3D printed using what alloy? Uh, Inconal alloys. Inconal. Uh, some kind of a nickel, nickel alloy. alloy nickel. Yes. And, and this is what you will use in the Agni Ban rocket when you fly? Yes. Yes. Now, now what is special about the Agni Ban rocket? Uh, so the Agni Ban rocket that is going to fly, uh, it's a suborbital tech demonstrator. Right. So the speciality about the rocket is it is going to be launched from India's first private launch pad, which we have established last year with the support of InSpace and ISRO. And, and then that private launch pad, let me tell my viewers, is at the Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sriharikota. For the first time at ISRO's launch pad, there is a mini launch pad by a private company Agni Cool Cosmos. Tell me more. Yes. And again, as I told previously, it is going to be first rocket that is going to fly with a semi cryo engine. And again, this is a single piece 3D printed engine and we do have a patent for that. And it is a first rocket that is going to fly with these kind of engines. Now, what, what is roughly the payload capacity of Agni Bhan? So the Agni Bhan's payload capacity is 30 to 300 kgs. The technology, technology tech demonstrator that we are uh, planning in the, this financial year, that's payload capacity is around 5 kgs. 5 kg. Yes. Excited about the launch? Yes, very much. The entire team is excited about the launch. I wish you luck for your first suborbital launch and I look forward to a private launch pad from Sriharikota launching a private rocket from India's big rocket port at Sriharikota. So that was Giritharan, an engineer at Agni Cool Cosmos Private Limited, telling us the speciality of this 3D printed engine and how they are getting ready for the launch of their rocket named Agni Ban. India looking forward to have a robust private space ecosystem. At the Agnikul Cosmos facility in Chennai, Palau Bagla.